Thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The grace is our Lord, whose name is the kingdom, the power, the glory for the land of heaven. And with your spirit, let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, for he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him. The Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Lord have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything, concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself. Spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us, help us, and accept us supplication and prayers of his saints for for that which is good on our behalf at all times. And forgive us our words. Lord have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace. With your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the works of Satan, the counsel of the wicked man, the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people, from this church, from this your holy place, that those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the powers of the enemy. Oh, 
For the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the sick among your people. Pray for our fathers and brethren who are sick with any sickness, whether in this place or any, in, in, in any place, that Christ our God may grant us with them health and healing and forgive us our sins. Lord, have you have visited them with mercies and compassions. Heal them. Take away from them and from us every sickness and every malady. The spirit of sicknesses chase away. Those who have long lain in maladies raise up and comfort. Those who are afflicted by unclean spirits set them all free. Those who are in prisons or dungeons, those who are in exile or captivity, or those who are held in bitter bondage, O Lord, set them all free and have mercy upon them. For you are he who loosens the bound and uplifts the fallen, the hope of those who have no hope, and the help of those who have no helper, the comfort of the faint-hearted, the harbor of those in the storm, all souls that are distressed or bound. Grant them mercy, O Lord, grant them rest. Grant them refreshment, grant them grace, grant them help, grant them salvation. Grant them the forgiveness of their sins and their iniquities. As for us too, O Lord, the sicknesses of our souls heal, and also those of our bodies cure. O you, the true physician of our souls and bodies, the bishop of all flesh, visit us with your salvation. Lord have mercy. For those who provide for, for the sacrifices, offerings, first fruits, oil, incense, covering, eating books, and altar vessels, that Christ our God may ward them in the heavenly Jerusalem and forgo us our sins. Lord have mercy. Receive them upon your holy rational altar in heaven as a sweet savor of incense before your greatness in the heavens through the service of your holy angels and archangels. As you have received the gifts of the righteous Abel, the sacrifice of our father Abraham, and the two mites of the widow, so also receive the thank offerings of your servants, those in abundance or those in scarcity, hidden or manifest, those who desire to offer to you but have none, those who have offered these gifts to you this very day, give them the incorruptible instead of the corruptible, the heavenly instead of the earthly, and the eternal instead of the temporal, their houses and their stores, fill them with every good thing. Surround them, O Lord, by the power of your holy angels and archangels, as they have remembered your holy name on earth. Remember them also, O Lord, in your kingdom, and in this age too. Leave us not behind. Lord of Take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O you who takes away the sin of the world, receive our prayers unto you. 
He sits at the right hand of his Father and has mercy upon him. Born as a virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal, who is crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal, who rose for us, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the age of all years. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our sins. Our Father, our brother, and our Father, 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 and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Encourage us, our Lord, and join us in the kingdom of the Lord. Him be Christos, Jesus, Ben, Shui, Samin, Alilu, Yashir, Nate, and Tihuru, Sis, Oebs, Minot, and Barsinus, and Sayun, and Ben, Timas, Nota, Smov, and be Christos. Share the Satan's mercy, no one be away, and talk me, be Christos, Ben, Nota, and Barsinus, and Oeb. Ti barsenus Mariam, ti se otokos es oab, ti bolus ti ti se ti noten ti bgenus ti ti metromi. Ignorance. 
for you do not desire the days of the sinner, of a sinner rather he returns and lives. Or have pity of my weakness and do not look at me in anger. I have sinned, O Jesus, my Lord. I have sinned, O Jesus, my God. O King, do not count the sins which I have committed. I ask you, O my Savior, let your mercies come, come to me and save me from the troubles that come to my soul. Do not send me to the fire. For my ignorance like Sodom, and likewise do not destroy me like Gomorrah. But, O oh my Lord, deal with me like the people of Nineveh, those who have, have, have repented, and you forgive them their sins. May your mercies come unto me quickly, that I may proclaim with those people with an unceasing voice. Wherefore I entreat you, O Lord God, my Savior, do not judge me either weak and sinful, and sinful. But rather absolve and remain my many iniquities as a good one and lover of شوبين <laughs> Share in the Oti Barsenus, the Oruimina Lissini, Share a Shoshun Tabinginus, a rig for none in Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, our faithful advocate, for our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. of the Father, who by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnated of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead. According to the scriptures ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son, and is worshipped and glorified. We spoke by the prophets in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We confess on baptism for their mission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Oh God, have mercy upon us. Settle mercy upon us. Have compassion upon us. Amen. Amen. Bless us, keep us. with your salvation and forgive us our sins. Me, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Any part of the name
many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you have seen and have not seen them and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them but as for you blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear may we be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints pray for the holy gospel lord have mercy remember also our master all those who have bidden us to remember them and our prayers and supplications which we offer up unto you o lord our god those who have already fallen asleep repose them those who are sick Heal them for you are the life of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, the salvation of us all, and the resurrection of us all. <laughs> Neo Herefran of Choice and Teningum, Kiria Flogison, Ectocata, Matheo Nageo, Evangelio Tonagnusma, Doxa, Sikire, Stand in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to our teaching, St. Matthew the Evangelist. May his blessing be with us. Amen. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet, may his holy blessing be with us. Amen. Give me, give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from sub my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I will call upon God, and the Lord shall have me save me. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord God, Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is glory, glory. Forever, amen. For the kingdom of heaven is like a land, Lord, Owner, who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for vineyard. Now, when he had agreed with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard, and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, you also go into the vineyard and whatever is right, I will give you. So they went. Again, he went out about the six and the ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found the others standing idle in the sea and said to them, why you have been standing idle all day. They said to him, because no one hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard and whatever is right to you, you will receive. So when evening had come, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, say, call the laborers and give them the, uh, their wages, beginning with the last to the first. And uh, when those came, when we were hired about the eleventh hour, they each received the denarius. But when the first came, they are supposed that they would receive more, and they likewise receive each denarius. 
and when they, they had received it, they complained against the land owner, saying, these last men have worked only one hour, and you made them equal to us who have borne the burden and the heat of all the day. But, answer, but he answered one of them and said, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what is yours and go your way. I, will, I wish to give that to the, this last man the same as to you. Is it not lawful for me to, what, to do what I wish with my own things? Or is your I evil because I am good. So the last one be first and the first last. For many are called just for you chosen. Glory be to God forever. Jebeni o tetcheni fi o imareb tovo en jebekran mares in jetek metoro jefog bebi o chani en jefes marot en jefiot nemem shirinem viebnem mares. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. And Christ is our Lord, for then is the kingdom, the power, the glory of God. Master Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son and Logos of God the Father, who has broken every bond of our sins through his saving and life-giving sufferings, who breathed into the face of his saintly disciples and holy apostles and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they're forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now also, O our Master, you have given grace through your holy apostles to those who for a time labor in the priesthood of your holy church to forgive sin upon the earth, to bind and loose every bond of iniquity. Now also we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, for your servants, my brother and the deacons, your people and my weakness. As we bow our heads before your holy glory, dispense to us your mercy, loose every bond of our sin. If we have committed any sin against you knowingly or unknowingly, through the anguish of our hearts and our deeds, words, or from faint-heartedness, O Master, who knows the weakness of humanity as a lover of mankind, God grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absolve us, fill us with your fear, and straighten us for your holy good will, for you are our God. To Amen. Amen. O King of Peace, grant us your peace, establish for us your peace, forgive us our sins, for yours the power, the glory, the blessing, and the might forever. Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Now may the love of God the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the gift and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
Doxasio Theosimo and holy, holy, holy a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. May his blessing be upon us all. Amen. When the Comforter of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, has come, he shall teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I, and I have told you before it comes to pass, and when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the Prince of this world comes and has nothing in me, that the world may know that I love the Father, as the Father gave me commandment. So I do arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is a vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that I may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I am. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May the sayings of God be fulfilled in peace. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. Have mercy on us, your Holy Spirit, O Lord, whom you send forth upon your holy disciples and your honored apostles in the third hour. Do not take away from us, O good one, but renew him within us. Create in me clean heart, O God, renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. O Lord, who sent down your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples and your honored apostles in the third hour, do not take him away from us, O good one, but we ask you to renew him within us. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word, a right and life-giving Spirit, a Spirit of prophecy and chastity, a Spirit of holiness, righteousness, and authority. O the Almighty One, for you are the light of our souls, O you who give light to every man that comes into the world. Have mercy on us. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you, full of grace with the apostles, for the salvation of our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God, blessed is the Lord day by day. He prepares our way, for he is God of our salvation. O Heavenly King, the Comfort of the Spirit of Truth, who is present in all places and fills all the treasury of good things in the life giver, graciously come and dwell in us and purify us from all defilement, O good one, and save our souls. Just as you were with your disciples, O Savior, and gave them peace, graciously come also and be with us and grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. Whatever we sin in your holy sanctuary, we are considered sinning in the heaven. O Theotokos, you are the gate of the heaven. Open for us the gate of have mercy. Holy God, holy mighty, holy, holy immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who is crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who is crucified for us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, Lord, to heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in Give us this day our deliverance. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And God bless our Lord, for it's in the kingdom of the Father. Hail to you, we ask you, O Saint, full of glory. Holy, 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 a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. May his blessing be upon us all. Amen. Seeing the multitudes, he went upon the mountain. And when he was seated, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you, persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you. Fall see for my sake, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For here is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is anger for nothing but to be thrown out and troubled underfoot by men. 
You are the light of the world, the city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put her under a basket, but on a lamp set, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shall shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May the sayings of God be fulfilled in peace. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. Have mercy on us, O you who on the sixth day and the sixth hour were nailed to the cross. For the sin which our father Adam dared to commit in paradise, tear the handwriting of our sins, O Christ our God, and save us. I cry to God, and the Lord heard me. God, hear my prayer. Do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me. Hear me in the evening, in the morning, and at midday. I say my words, and he hears my voice, and delivers my soul in peace. O Jesus Christ, our God, who are nailed to the cross in the sixth hour, and killed sin by the tree, and by your death, you made alive the dead man, whom you created with your own hands, and had died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing and life-giving passions, and by the nails with which you were nailed. Rescue our minds from the thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lusts, to the remembrance of your heavenly commandments according to your compassion. Since we have no favor, nor excuse, nor justification because of our many sins, we through you implore to him who was born of you, O Theotokos the Virgin, for abundant and acceptable is your intercession with our Savior. O Holy Mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore. For he is merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us, for we are exceedingly humbled. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. You, you wrote the salvation in the midst of the earth, O Christ our God, as you stretch your holy hands on the cross. Therefore, all the nations cry out, saying, Glory be to you, O Lord. We worship your incorruptible person, O good one, asking for the forgiveness of our sins, O Christ our God, for of your will you were pleased to be lifted up unto the cross to deliver those whom you created with, from the bondage of your, the enemy. We cry out unto you and give thanks to you, for you have filled all with joy, O Savior, when you came to help the world. Lord, glory be to you. <laughs> For through the cross of your son, Hades fell down and death was abolished. We were dead, but we were raised and became worthy of eternal life and gifted the light of the first paradise. Therefore, we glor thankfully glorify the immortal Christ our God. Glory be to our Master and King, Christ, the Pride, the Apostles, the Covenant, the Martyrs, the Joy, the Righteous, the Mercy of the Church, the Forgiveness of Sins. We complain the Holy Trinity and one Godhead. We worship Him, we glorify Truly, we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pontificator, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, the light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, and what exists with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us man for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnated the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us on a bunch of suffering and was buried. And on the third day, he rose from the dead. According to the scriptures, ascended to the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father. He is coming in his glory to judge the living and the dead. He is giving us shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son, is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church, we confess from our baptism from our sins. We need for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lamb of God, the meek who carries the sins of the whole world, hear us and have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, amen. Lord, have mercy. Hear us and have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Kyrie have mercy, O Lord. Lord have mercy. Kyrie 
Lay son, Kitty, Lay son, hear us and have mercy. Kitty, Lay son, Kitty, Lay son, Lord, have mercy. Kitty, Lay son, Kitty, Lay son, have mercy, O Lord. Kitty, Lay son, Kitty, Lay son, hear us and have mercy. Kiria lay son, 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 Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. Have mercy upon us, O God the Father, upon the cross, Lord. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord God, for those who heal us. For we have not opened our hearts to tribulations, but you. Absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, our transgressions, and those which we have committed willingly, and those which we have committed unwillingly, those which we have committed knowingly, and those which we have committed unknowingly. Today, in heaven, I confess the Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not patient, but deliver us from one. And Christ is our Lord, the best to give us our Lord. Glory and honor, honor and glory to the all holy trinity the father the son and the holy spirit peace and edification to the one only holy catholic and apostolic orthodox church of god amen remember O lord those who have brought unto you these gifts those on whose behalf they have been brought and those by whom they have been brought give them all the heavenly reward Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, if maybe in Oromi, if Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, laud him, all you peoples, for his mercy has been strengthened toward us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> Peace be with all. And with your spirit.
Give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Lord of mercy, O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints, for that which is good on our behalf at all, all times, and make us willing to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of man. And kind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear. All envy, all temptation, all the works of Satan, the counsel of the wicked men, the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people from this table, from this your holy place, for those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the powers of the enemy. So your people and my weakness be absolved from the mouth of the all holy trinity the father the son the holy spirit from the mouth of the one only holy catholic and apostolic church from the mouths of the twelve apostles the beholder of god the evangelist saint mark the holy apostle and martyr the patriarch saint severus our teacher dioscorus saint athanasius the apostolic saint peter the holy martyr and archpriest saint john chrysostom saint cyril saint basil saint gregory from the mouths of the 318 assembled in nicaea the 150 at constantinople and the 200 at ephesus from the mouths of our archpriest pope abba Tuadros II, and his partner in the apostolic liturgy our father the bishop abba peter and from my own mouth being the least for blessed and full of glory is your holy name O father son and the holy spirit now and forever and unto the ages of all ages amen Sorrow, Mata, 
All the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ called to be an apostle appointed to the gospel of God chapter from the second epistle of our teacher Paul to the Corinthians his blessings be with us all amen for he says in an acceptable time I have heard you and in the day of salvation I have helped you behold now is the accepted time behold now is the day of salvation we give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed but in all things we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much patience in tribulations in needs in distresses in stripes in imprisonments in tumults in labors in sleeplessness in fastings by purity by knowledge by long suffering by kindness by the holy spirit by sincere love by the word of truth by the power of god by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left by honor and dishonor by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true as unknown and yet well known as dying and behold we live as chastened and yet not killed as sorrowful yet always rejoicing as poor yet making many rich as having nothing and yet possessing all things O Corinthians we have spoken openly to you our heart is wide open you are not restricted by us but you are restricted by your own afflictions now in return for the same I speak to child as to children you also be open the grace of God the Father be with you all amen The Catholic Epistle from the Epistle of our Teacher, St. James, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn their whole body. Look also at ships. Although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small rudder wherever the pilot desires. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles? And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among ourselves that it defiles the whole body and sets on the fire the course of nature and is set on fire by hell for every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind but no man can tame the tongue it is an unruly evil full of deadly poison with it we bless our god and father and with it we curse men who have been made in the similitude of god out of the same mouth proceeds blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring send forth fresh water and better from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives or a grape vine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The world is passing away and it's lost. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen. Ariba me vi o be sho o se ari eba me
from the Acts of our fathers, the pure apostles, who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Now, after five days, Ananias the high priest came down with the elders and a certain orator named Tertullus. These gave evidence to the governor against Paul. And when he was called upon, Tertullus began his accusation, saying, Seeing that through you, we enjoy great peace, and prosperity is being brought to this nation by your foresight. We accept it always and in all places, most noble Felix, with all thank thankfulness. Nevertheless, not to be tedious to you any further, I beg you to hear, by your courtesy, uh, a few words from us. For we have found this man a plague, a creator of dissension, among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple, and we seized him, and wanted to judge him according to our law. But the commander Lysias came, and came by, and with great violence took him out of our hands, commanding his accusers to come to you. By examining him yourself, you may ascertain all these things of which we accuse him. And the Jews also assented, maintaining that these things were so. Then Paul, after the governor had nodded to him to speak, answered, Inasmuch as I know that you have been for many years a judge of this nation, I do the more cheerfully answer for myself. Because you may ascertain that it is no more than twelve days since I went up to Jerusalem to worship, and they neither found me in the temple disputing with anyone nor inciting the crowd, either in the synagogues or in the city, nor can they prove the things with which they now accuse me. But this I confess to you, that according to the way which they call a sect, so I worship the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. I have hope in God, which they themselves also accept, that there will be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense toward God and men, now, after many years, I came to bring alms and offerings to my nation, in the midst of which some Jews from Asia found me purified in the temple, neither with a mob nor a tumult. They ought to have been here before you to object if they had anything against me, or else let those who are here themselves say if they found any wrongdoing in me while I stood before the council." Unless it is for this one statement, which I cried out, standing among them, concerning the resurrection of the dead, I am being judged by you this day. But when Felix heard these things, having more accurate knowledge of the way, he adjourned the proceedings and said, when Lysias the commander comes down, I will make a decision on your case. So he commanded the centurion to keep Paul and to let him have liberty and told him not to forbid any of his friends to provide for, for or visit him. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> one God, amen. Today is the 22nd day of the blessed month of Paramhotep. <clears throat> May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility, while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O oh, my brethren, amen. On this day of the year 102 of the Martyrs, 386 AD, the Holy Father, Saint Cyril Krolos, the Bishop of Jerusalem, departed. He was born in Jerusalem in the year 315 AD and was raised with the Christian upbringing. He excelled in the spiritual subjects and the Greek literatures. Saint Maximus, the Bishop of Jerusalem, ordained him a deacon and then a priest and delegated to him the instruction of the catechumens of the Jews and the pagans in the Church of the Resurrection. 
He persevered in teaching the doctrines of the Christian religion for 16 years, and the people gathered around him to hear his exhortations and sermons. When the Bishop of Jerusalem departed, he was chosen as his successor. The scope of learning and teaching expanded before him. The Arian heresy had widely spread, and St. Carollo strongly resisted it, and for that reason he was a target for the persecution of the Arian heretics. He was exiled three times from his diocese, which he endured patiently and thankfully. He returned to his parish in the year 370 AD after the death of the Arian Emperor Valens. St. Carolos attended the Second Universal Council at, the, at Constantinople in the year 381 AD, and he was one of the prominent attendees of this council. He wrote many books about the Incarnation, the Creed, and the Baptism of the Catechumens. When he finished his good endeavor, he departed in peace. The blessing of his prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also, the just man Joseph of Arimathea departed. He was from Arimathea, a city of the Jews, who himself was also waiting for the kingdom of God. He was a wealthy, just, and devout man. He was a member of the Sanhedrin, and at the same time, a disciple of the Lord Christ. He did not attend the session of the Sanhedrin to plot against the Lord Jesus Christ and put him to death, for he did not agree with the Jews about his crucifixion. After the death of the Lord Christ on the cross, he asked Pontius Pilate for the pure body to shroud and bury it, and he commanded the body to be given to him. He took the body down from the cross. St. Nicodemus participated with him in anointing the body of the Savior with a large quantity of spices and perfumes, and then wrapped it in linen cloth. Joseph laid it in his new tomb, which he had honed out of a rock, and he rolled a large stone against the door of the tomb and departed. After the resurrection of the Lord, he accompanied the apostles, and after the coming down of the Holy Spirit, he sold all his possessions and placed the proceeds at the hands of the apostles to serve the poor and needy. Then he devoted himself to preach the faith of the Lord Christ. The blessing of his prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also, the honored father, Emba Michael, the bishop of Nekeda, departed. He was consecrated bishop for Nekeda on the 12th of Misra in the year 1391 of the martyrs by the hand of Pope Mateus IV. He participated in the consecration of Pope Ioannis XVI, and during his days, the Dominican historian, the monk Venselib, visited him in Nekeda. After he shepherded his flock with the best of care, he departed in peace. The blessing of his prayers be with us all, and glory be to our God forever. Amen. <laughs> Deleus, Agios, Eschiros. O Sarkos, Enda, Ekeb, Nevmatos. Agios, E Agios, Marias, Tis, Marseno. Megato, Mysterion, Agios, Asanatos, Oh, 
تدخي إني في وي ماري said to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you have seen and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels, through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord of mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our prayers and supplications, which we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them, for you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Choice in ten in gum, 
Kiri flogiso nekto kata lukan ageo Evangelio ton agnos ma Zongsta ensi kire ye Stand up with the fear of God And let us listen to the Holy Gospel a reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. May his blessing be with us. Amen. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet and the king. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Oh, do not remember former iniquities against us. Let your tender mercies come speedily to meet us. For we have been brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God, Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever and ever. Amen. Then he said, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living. And when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would have gladly filled his stomach with the paws that the swine ate. And no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. And will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. And I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this is my son, was for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing, so he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come. And because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the fatted calf. But he was angry and would not go in. Their father, therefore his father came out and pleaded with him. So he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years I have been serving you, and I never transgressed your commandment at any time. And yet you never gave me a young goat that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son of yours came, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots, you killed the fatted calf for him. 
And he said to him, son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad, for your brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. Glory be to God for In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Good morning. morning. Today is the third Sunday of the Holy Great Fast. And as we all know, as we just read from the liturgy this morning, the liturgy gospel, we, that today is sometimes called the prodigal son Sunday. And it's because we read the story where our Lord gives a parable about these two sons and one of them goes and wastes his father's inheritance his inheritance from his father in prodigal living. Now this gospel I think is extremely important, especially during the great fast for us, because it's about this time of the fast that we need to be reminded of what we're doing, what this is all about. Why our Christian life, we do the things that we do. And the the ultimate answer, which we'll explain throughout today, The ultimate answer is the relationship that we have with God. It's to keep and maintain the relationship that we have with God. And if I don't have that relationship, it's to restore it back to what it should be. This is the reason why we do all the things that we do. And so our Lord gives a parable. He says, says, then he said, a certain man had two sons. We know this story. One of the sons, which was older, one of the other sons was younger. The younger one goes to his father and says, Father, give me my inheritance. Effectively, what he's saying to his father, does anyone know when you're supposed to get the inheritance from your father? Go ahead and say it. After the person dies, after the father dies, right? There was a little bit of room in the Torah, in the, in the first five books, um, where the Jewish tradition was you could have a little bit, like, like an appetizer of your inheritance. But the whole inheritance would be received after the father passes. So when he goes to his father and says, Father, give me my inheritance, what he's effectively telling his father, and forgive me for the the bluntness, I wish you were dead. That's what he's telling his father. I want to live my life as if you are dead. Which is a very, very insulting thing to say to any father, to anyone in general. But the father, what does he do? He gives it to him. He gives him the full inheritance. Then the son goes, he wastes it. He ends up with pigs. And that's an important detail to remember. It's not just, you know, pigs are dirty. Think about in the Jewish mind, what is a pig? A pig has hooved hooved feet, correct? And in the Old Testament, these are considered to be impure animals, correct? So what he's effectively doing is forsaking everything that he received from the father, forsaking everything that's in his house, every value that was instilled within him, every important principle, every important thing that was meant to keep him safe, keep him healthy, keep him close to the father, keep him close to the family. He forsook it all. It's like an extra slap in the face to his father by going and being with pigs. And then while he's there, he's hungry. And he says to himself, I'm over here and I'm about to eat pig food. I have an idea. It says he came to himself. And I have this idea. Let me go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned before you. I'm not worthy to be your son. But please, if you are willing, give me a job. Make me a hired servant. That word hired servant, keep in mind, sometimes we read this verse and we think, oh, he's repented. We need to be like him. Don't be fooled. He, he did not say, let me just back into the home. I don't want anything from you. He says, I still want money. I still want a wage. I'm still ha- in a relationship with things. I'm not interested in a relationship with you, my father. And so he recites this speech. Father, I've sinned against heaven before you. Father, I've sinned against heaven before you. I'm not worthy to be called your son. I'm not worthy to be called your son. And he recites it over and over. 
Then he finally goes to his father. And on the way, as he sees the house, the father, what's he doing? He's looking out, waiting for him. And he sees him at the end of the road. And what does the father do? He leaves his house and it says that he ran to embrace him. Think about what this would look like. You have a, a, a Middle Eastern grown man running in the street. <laughs> this is, it looks foolish. He doesn't care. All he cares about is being in relationship with his child, with his son, bringing him back. He does not tell him, how dare you break the rules? He does not tell him, I can't believe you were with pigs. Don't you know what I taught you? How could you disrespect what I've taught you? Do you not care about me? The way that he was concerned about the father or the, his son was only concerned about the relationship. He wasn't concerned about the things he did. And this is the most important thing to take away. Our Lord is giving us insight from this gospel into what is sin. When I commit a sin, I'm not just breaking a rule that God told me I can't do. The rules are there because they're meant to keep us in relationship with him. It keeps us healthy. So when I transgress one of the commandments, when I commit a sin, I am now unhealthy. I'm now breaking the relationship. And our Father in heaven, our Lord and God, all he cares about is that relationship. Keep this in mind. And then he goes to his father and he runs out, the father runs out to him, embraces him. It says he falls on his neck. This is a, an ancient expression, but it really is essentially like when you hug someone and you, you lay your head on their shoulder kind of thing and your necks are like both touching, it's a sign of endearment. It's a sign of compassion. It's an embracing. It's a, I'm going to hug you longer than you want to be hugged. <laughs> and then the son starts to recite this speech. Father, I've sinned against heaven. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. So, and then he, the father tells him, stop. Don't continue. And he calls servants over. Bring him a robe. Bring him clothes. Bring him the finest jewelry that we can find. Why jewelry? Why a robe? Who wears a robe in jewelry? A king, someone who is in royalty. He is focused, the father is focused on reminding his son that you are my son. You are still a relation, in relationship with me, no matter what you've done. And so he brings him all these things, brings him sandals on his feet. The boy is covered in what must be dirt and filth from the pigs. He doesn't care. He embraces him. He's willing to get dirty and hug him. Do we see the love of the Father? The love of the Father, it goes beyond understanding, and that's the point. And then he tells him, no, you're not going to be one of my hired servants. You will remain my son, but we need to celebrate because you were just lost and now you're found. You were dead and now you are alive. And so he throws this big dinner party. He goes and gets someone to kill a fatted calf. Again, think in the Jewish mentality. What is a fatted calf? This was considered to be the most pure, acceptable sacrifice that would be offered in the temple in the Old Testament. A fatted calf. And so he tells the whole family, this is as if we are celebrating when we worship God. When we worship God and God provides us a piece of the fatted calf and we can share it together, we're going to celebrate the same way because my son has returned. This calls for celebration. Repentance, relationship, restoring that relationship is more important to the father than anything else. He doesn't say, do you know what you did wrong? He doesn't say, before we kill the fatted calf, let's first make sure, make sure that I understand and that you understand how you should never do this again. It's not the time. The son was lost. The son needed a father. The son was dead. He needed life. And that's all the father is caring about. And so he throws this party. And then we get to the second son, the older son. He's out in the field working. And all of a sudden, he hears the, the, the party going on. He calls a servant, says, what's going on? And he tells him, the servant tells him, your brother is back. And your father has killed the fatted calf, and we're throwing a celebration for him. And immediately, what happens to him? He's angry. He's bitter. 
And we see why, as he speaks, he approaches his father. He says, how, how could you? I have never broken any of the rules. I've always been in the house. I've done everything that you asked me to do. I followed the order, the steps. And you never once threw me a party like this so that I can have fun with my friends. The son is concerned about the rules, not the relationship. The father is concerned about the relationship, not the rules. This does not devalue the rules, but it's to remind us that the commandments of God, when we do the things that we do, whether it be the little T traditions, like the ritualistic things like fasting in the church, prayer in the church, keeping our prayer rule, coming to liturgy, standing and not sitting, and all these things. When we struggle with these things, what we are doing is these are tools to keep us in relationship. The relationship is the goal, not the tool. We don't worship the commandments. We worship the God who is revealed in the commandments. But the son, the older son, he wants the commandments. He thinks, I did my part. I'm right. But I never got this. And he thinks there's an injustice that's happened to him. So how does the father correct him? The father tells him, and I'll read it for you all. Son, you are always with me. All that I have is yours. Is there any, any words there about the rules, about following the commandments? All that I have are, is yours. You are always with me. Because being with me, that relationship, is the priority, is the goal, is the focus. It was right that we should make merry and be glad, for your brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found. Now let's zoom out for a second. Why is our Lord speaking this parable? If you look, this comes from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 15. And right before this, there were two other parables that were spoken. And those three total parables were Christ's answer to the Pharisees looking at him, pointing, and saying, look, he's eating with sinners and tax collectors. Look at how he spends time with people who are a problem. Remember, and I'll remind you all, in the mentality of the Pharisees, they, they were Jewish and they wanted the Messiah to come. They didn't recognize Christ was the Messiah. They thought in their mind, the only way to get the Messiah to come is if we can go one day without ever sinning, just all of us. Just go one day. If we can just do that successfully, the Messiah will come and save us from the Romans who are currently hurting us and oppressing us. And so when they see somebody sinning, it's an immediate reason to judge them. Because you're the reason, you sinner, why the Messiah is not coming. Because you keep sinning. This is why we can, we can understand St. Paul, for example, why he was willing to kill Christians for the sake of God. He was a persecutor of the church and of the Christian faith. Why? Because he thought they're the problem. They're the reason why we are in captivity. They are stopping God from doing his work. Of course, this is completely incorrect. And so the Pharisees point at Christ, their Messiah, and say to him, look, he's eating with sinners and tax collectors. He's a problem. He's not following the rules. And so our Lord responds to this comment with three parables. The third one is the parable of the lost son. The first two are the parable of the lost coin, where the woman digs and searches and searches diligently to find the one coin. And the second one is the parable of the, does anyone know? Anyone know it? The lost sheep, where the shepherd leaves the 99 and goes after the one. All of these three parables have something in common. The focus is on who? The Not the lost. The relationship. It's on the relationship that the father has with the one that's lost. Good job. That's what the focus is. Sometimes you will hear the parable of the prodigal son and think, ah, I am the young son. I am wasting my life in pleasures and lusts. I must return, come to my senses and return back to the Father. Father, I've sinned against heaven before you. That's not wrong. Yes, if you are in a broken relationship with your God, then restore it. Return. But this is not the focus of the parable. Our Lord is responding to the Pharisees and telling them, look at how a father should be. Look at how you should be. You should be not like the son only. You should be like the father. So that when you see sinners, you don't point at them and say, look, sinners.
but rather you say, look, an opportunity to show love and to be a father. The goal of this parable, I want us to really understand, is not to just be the younger son and be with the father. That's step one. The ultimate end of this like, parable is step two, to be like the father. So that when I see somebody sinning, it's no longer they're against God, they're against someone. It's now the relationship's broken. I must restore it. And for us who are Christians in practical everyday life, this does not have any exceptions. When you go and you experience the everyday people in your life, whether it be your family, whether it be your friends, whether it be your co-workers, whether it be the co-students, everyone is in need of the fatherly love. Everyone is in need of that relationship. We do not put a barrier on that. God forbid that we stop ourselves from showing the love of a father because they're sinners. Mm -hmm. This would go against the gospel. This is not like our Christ, our Lord. So I want us all to think, where in my life can I apply being the father? Parents in the church, when your child disobeys the respect and the rules that you have placed into your home, You've brought them up in a specific way and they keep breaking these rules. This is someone who is, has broken the relationship, not broken the rules. And how does the father respond to a broken relationship? Come, Habibi. Let's go. Let's celebrate. I need you back. That's all that matters. It's not about the rules. Imagine if we did this every day. Imagine if our relationships were built on this mentality of being the father to the prodigal son to everyone around us. There would never be judgment. There would never be gossip. There would never be anger. There would never be broken division in relationships like this. There would only be love. There would only be compassion and there would only be humility. So I challenge you all this week, spend your time in prayer and asking yourself, where am I not the father? Where am I like the older son? And where I'm worshiping the rules and not the father who has gifted me the rules, the Father who has gifted me his love when I don't deserve it. I once heard a story, and I'll end with the story, where there was in the, in, during the time of, of communism in Russia, there was a pastor who was Protestant who was jailed. He was uh, being persecuted for his faith and they threw him in jail. And in his jail cell there was three beds. He was in the middle bed, and then one on each side. On his left side, sorry, excuse me, on his right side was an Orthodox priest who had just been persecuted and tortured and hurt and was in pain and half dead. And he was awaiting his execution in the jail. On his left was the person who was torturing him. At some point he turned and they went against him and they threw their own person in jail. The one who they was responsible for torturing, they threw him in jail. And just so happened, just two beds over, was the one he was torturing. So you have this Protestant pastor in the middle, and you have on the left a murderer, and on the right you have the one being murdered. And then in the writing of the Protestant pastor, he says, I witnessed a miracle. On the left side, the murderer, he realized his death was about to happen, and he started to be extremely scared. And out loud he was yelling, he's like, I can't die, I can't die, I've done evil things. I can't die. And then on the right, the, pro, the, the Orthodox priest calls servants, because the man can barely walk. The servant, he says, help me up. Take me over to his bed. And the priest gets up and wobbles over with the help of these servants and comes over to the, the murderer, the one who has tortured him. And he kneels down on his knees in front of him and says, my son, there is nothing that you have done that cannot be forgiven by your father. I am the one that you are hurting, and I forgive you. And the, the man looked at him and said, how can you forgive me? And he said, I'm a mere man, imperfect and a sinner, and I can forgive you. Can you imagine how much God can forgive you? I am a simple man. I am nothing. I'm dust of the earth, and I love you. Can you imagine how much God, the all-holy loving God, loves you? And the man said, what must I do? and he started to confess his sins. He prayed the absolution on him. That night, they both died together. The Protestant pastor said, I've never seen in my life the love of a father to his children. 
I've never seen this kind of love because this is the love of God. And so I want you all, again, challenge yourself. Where are you missing this love? Do not wait until you get the love to say, I can give the love. No, give it, and you will receive it back. May we always remember that when we are the lost son, we are to be running back to the father. Do not wait until it makes sense. Just go. Run to your father confession. Run to your spiritual guide. Run to the church. Run to prayer. Run to whatever you need to do. <clears throat> and now that you are there and back in the relationship with your God, <clears throat> now it's time to be the father. Now it's time to be the father. Embrace all around you. Bring them back into the family. Bring them back into the body of Christ so that they may always be in relationship. And may we always remember that the love of God is awaiting us and he's running after us faster than we run after him. Let us accept that together as one body. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. entered into the world through the envy of the devil you have destroyed by the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Pray for the perfect peace, love, and holy apostolic greetings. Lord, have mercy. According to your goodwill, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, 
all malice and the remembrance of evil that entails death. Make us all worthy, O our Master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without falling into condemnation we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus our Lord. Greet one another with the holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yeah, Lord, who are Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hear us and have mercy upon us. Offer, offer, offer in order. Stand with him, bring, look towards the east. Let us attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, St. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit for you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace and sacrifice of, of praise. Lord, be with you. Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning <coughs> forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon us, who are lowly, who has created the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things, visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated stand before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, thrones, dominions, and the powers. Look toward the east. You are here around to stand. The cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, saying, Let us attend. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of, of host, heaven and, and earth are full. 
formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets. In the last days you manifested yourself to us. We were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Saint Mary. the ways of salvation he granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit he made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your holy spirit he loved his own who were in the And as a ransom on our behalf, gave himself up unto death, death which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold. On account of our sins, he descended into Hades through the cross. Amen. Ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father. He has appointed a day for recompense on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to their deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sin. He instituted for us this great mystery of godliness, for being determined to give himself up unto death for the life of the world. We believe. He took bread into his holy hands, which are without spot or blemish, blessed and life-giving. We believe that this is true. Father and Master of everyone, and when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it. Amen. He sanctified it. and 
gave it to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take heed of it, all of you, for this is my body, my body which is broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is to cup after supper he mixed it of wine and water and when he had given thanks Amen. he blessed it Amen. he sanctified it to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, my blood, which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. This is also true. this bread and drink of this cup you proclaim my death confess my resurrection and remember me till i come amen 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 your death o lord we proclaim His resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything concerning everything and in everything. Worship God in fear, trembling. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. And this bread he makes into his holy body. I believe. Amen. And this cup also the precious blood of. 
His new covenant. Again I believe. Amen. Our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Make us all worthy, O our Master, to partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share in inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and apostolic church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. This church which you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. Foremost, remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Patriarch, O Baba, Tawadros II, and his pardon in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop, Baba Peter. Pray for our Archbishops, Pope Abba Tawadros, Pope and Patriarch, Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and his partner in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop, Baba Peter, and for the Knox Shops. Lord have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with them, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Higgins, priests and deacons. Pray. For the Hegemons, priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the Church of God. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in virginity in the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us, O God. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pan, to Remember, O Lord, in the salvation of this your holy church in every place and every monastery, of our Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of the city of ours, and for all cities, countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell therein in God's faith, Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the rising of the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, the plants of the field, this year to bless them. Pray for the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth, the rising of the waters, the rivers, the seeds, and the herbs, the plants of the field, the Christ. Our God may bless them and have compassion on his creation, which he in his hands has made. Forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Praise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as deem fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, for the sake of the widow, the orphan, the traveler, and the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O Yuga's food to all flesh. 
Fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we to having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. And give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy, precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who brought them. Lord, have command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning, our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, Saint Mary, who truly gave birth to God, the Logos, and Saint John, the forerunner, Baptist, and martyr, Saint Stephen, the archdeacon, and proto-martyr, the beholder of God, the evangelist, Saint Mark, the holy apostle and martyr, the Patriarch, St. Severus, our teacher, Dioscorus, St. Athanasius, the Apostolic, St. Peter, the Holy Martyr and Archpriest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodosius, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory, the Theologian, St. Gregory, the Wonder Worker, and St. Gregory, the Armenian. <coughs> The 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous father, the great Abba Antony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints of Amakera, and all their children, the cross bearers. Our father, Abba John the Higaman, our righteous father, Abba Peshoi, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints, through whose prayers and supplications have mercy upon us all, and save us, save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Recite the names of our Holy Father, the Patriots who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose our souls and forgive us our sins. May the Holy Blessing be with us. Amen. Glory. To you, O Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord bless us, Lord repose them. taken, repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place, and we too who are sojourners in this place, 
Keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. As it, as it was and shall be, it is from generation to generation and unto all the ages of the ages. Amen. Lead us throughout the way into your kingdom, so that as in this, so also in all things, your great and holy name may be glorified, blessed and exalted in everything, honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. And with your spirit, Give thanks to God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, for he also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy church, to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. Amen. Uh, holy body. We worship your holy body and the precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ the Pantocrator the Lord our God. Amen, amen, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Pantocrator, who sent his only begotten Son into the world. He taught us the law and the commandments written in the Holy Gospel. And he taught us that fasting and prayer can cast out demons. When he said, this kind cannot come out by anything but by prayer and fasting. raised Elijah to heaven and saved Daniel from the lion's den, fasting and prayer are those which Moses pursued until he received the law and the commandments written with the finger of God, fasting and prayer are those which the Ninevites pursued 
So God had mercy upon them and forgave them their sins and lifted his wrath away from them. <laughs> the prophets pursued and prophesied concerning the advent of Christ many generations before his coming fasting and prayer are those which the apostles pursued they preached to all nations and made them Christians baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the martyrs pursued until they shed their blood for the name of Christ, who confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate, fasting and prayer are those which the righteous and the just and the cross bearers pursued. They dwelt in the mountains, deserts, and holes of the earth because of their great love for Christ our King. <speaking in Hebrew> from all evil and purity and righteousness and let us proceed forth to this holy sacrifice and partake of it with thanksgiving so that with a pure heart and enlightened soul and unashamed face of faith unfeigned a perfect love and a firm hope we may dare with boldness without fear to pray to you O god O God, the Holy Father, who's in the heavens, and say, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from one. And Christ is our Lord, who is in his kingdom.
David. Remember, O oh Lord, our assemblies. Bless them. Save the mind and with your spirit and you, the fear of God. Let's, let us attend. Me, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The holy is for the holy. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the own Holy Father, one is the own Holy Son, one is the own Holy Spirit. Amen. The holy body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. precious body and the true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is true. Amen. Amen. This is true, amen. And confess to the last breath that this is the life-giving flesh of your only begotten Son, that our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos, Saint Mary. He made it one with his divinity without mingling, without confusion and without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate, gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment or twinkling of an eye, given for us for salvation and remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe. This is true, amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the immaculate and heavenly holy mystery. Ease. Lord have mercy. Look, son, seek Look,
Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Alleluia, Alleluia. Uh, Jesus Christ fasted for us forty days and forty nights. Sounding symbols, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, past and for us, for the days and for the nights. Praise Him upon the symbols of joy.
Fasting is an unshakable fortress. Prayer is a weapon that forever lasts. Blessed is he who fasts in purity and does not lose hope because of the sinful past. Listen with understanding against the judge. Do not say if the devil causes you to transgress, resist him with tears and regret. Begin your repentance today. Be fearful of the judgment day. Friend and kin will desert you. No one can help you. Son. 
sons his fortune was given. The youngest son went far away and spent his money in prodigal living. Blessed are those who have mercy, who give to the poor and fast and pray. The Holy Spirit will fill their hearts. The Son will show them mercy on judgment day. In my Father's house I was living in mercy and grace till i took my share of his wealth to a distant place i left my family so i could be free i left my family so i could be free and pursue my own ways I set off for a distant country so far away. My life was wild and more wasteful with every day. Satan deceived me, attacked and beat me. Satan deceived me, attacked and beat me, he threw me in the flames. I became a slave to my many sins and evil deeds, trying to fill my desires, paying no heed. I wasted my fortune with no thought or caution. I wasted my fortune with no thought or caution and found myself in need. After I had spent everything, I was in need. To those who saw me in those days, I was dead indeed. They forgot the old feast days that had long seas. They forgot the old feast days that had long seas and left me to my misery. I asked one of the citizens to have mercy on me. Give me the most despicable drop, I will agree. He sent me to his field, the swan I had to feed. He sent me to his field, the swan I had to feed. Their food I longed to eat. I came to myself immediately to repentance, went back to my father to ask him to forgive my sins. And when he saw me, he ran towards me. And when he saw me, he ran towards me and called me beloved son. Oh, sinner, listen to me and my story repent return to your father in great hurry you'll find joy and peace that will never cease you'll find joy and peace that will never cease in the shadow of his glory Who have mercy, who give to the poor and fast and pray. The Holy Spirit will fill their hearts. The Son will show them mercy on judgment day. He became poor and lost all he had of goodness.
Sins, let us praise with the angels saying, May the love of God the Father, the grace of His only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the gift and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Go in peace, the peace of the Lord be with you all. God willing, this week the liturgies will be all the same as last week, except we will have an extra liturgy this Tuesday from 8 to 11 a.m. And that will be for the commemoration, the commemoration of Saint Mary. It's the monthly commemoration of Saint Mary. That will be this to, the apparition. Excuse me, the apparition. And that will be this Tuesday from 8 to 11. And the rest of the liturgies will be the same this week. So Wednesday will be, got it. So Wednesday will be uh, from 8 to 11 as well. Two Thursdays liturgy will be from. 4 to 7, and then Friday's liturgy will be from 4.30 to 7 a.m. Um, Saturday's 8.30 to 11, and Sunday, as you all know, now during the Great Fast, is starting at 8 a.m., so please plan accordingly. Uh, just as a reminder to the deacons, I say this every week, and I'm looking forward to the day I don't have to remind you anymore, but the, the Tonya is that you should be only blessed two times, so please do me a favor. Do not approach, if it's not these two times, to wear your Tonya. During matins, right before matins begins, and then right after, the absolution of the servants. There will be a family meeting, God willing, at 11 a.m. next Saturday. So please, if you'd like to attend. Um, this is also the third week of the Bible competition that the church is doing. And if you don't know about it, on the, the canopy over there with this, the icon of Christ on the crucifix, there is a set of stack of papers where you can find the questions for the Bible competition that we are doing. Again, they're studying 2 Corinthians, both in Arabic and English. And there's two ways to obtain the, the questions. There's over there, and then we will put it up on the screen if you want to scan a QR code. Um, the competition, again, is every week for this Holy Great Fast. And at the end, you'll be, every week you turn in your answers, you get points. And at the end, the person with the most, most points gets a uh, prize. Um, there will be a valuable reward for those that, that get it all right. Uh, last but not least, there's a mission trip that we all announce. Um, those who have registered for the interest in the mission trip, this, um, there will be sent instructions by tonight, God willing, via email, on how to proceed with deposits. So if you'd like to submit your deposit for the mission trip to Egypt that the church is doing, um, God willing, you'll get instructions by tonight. Tomorrow, the deposit will be open starting at 8 a.m. So when, if you are planning on going, starting tomorrow at 8 a.m., it will be the submissions for deposits. Um, and this is on a first-come, first-served basis. So please plan accordingly. Thank you all. Go in peace. The peace of the Lord be with you all.